So remember, guys, when we're looking at this, what, when we have a 360-degree triangle, um, what we need to determine is do we have the large length or the, I'm sorry, we first need to always look at, all right, here's the hypotenuse. But do we have the large leg or the smaller leg? And remember, the relationship is the large leg would be x times square root of 3. So if I wanted to go back to x, what I need to do is divide this by the square root of 3. All right, and a square root of 3 was approximately what, 7.5? Yes? So remember, listen, when we look up here, if I was giving you this length to find the other leg, you'd multiply by the square root of 3. So if I give you the larger leg and I say, what's the shorter leg, you'd have to divide by the square root of 3. So when doing that, that's approximately 7.5. Now again, you're going to want to make sure you look at the directions and say, does it say leave it in radical form? Or are you going to be simplifying it in decimal? Then the next thing, how does my short leg relate to my hypotenuse? It is what? Being multiplied by 2. So I can simply just say this is 26 divided by the square root of 3. Or how about I do this? It's 2 times 13 over the square root of 3. Right? You just multiply whatever your short leg is by 2. So that is 26 over the square root of 3, which approximately was, anybody figure that one out? Wait, how did you get, how did you get like, how did you know the divided by the square root of 3? Because remember, here's the short leg, right? Uh -huh. To go from the short leg to the longer leg, I multiply by the square root of 3, correct? Uh -huh. X. Multiply by square root of 3. Here, I'm giving you the large leg. So if I give you this, and I want you to find this, you've got to undo multiplying by square root of 3 by dividing square root of 3. Wait, so that's, like, that's just how you set it up? If you let the x the this is just a relationship yeah. of the sides. Oh. But I'm not always going to give you this side. Yeah. I might give you this side or that side. Um, so for the force, so you just need to know, oh, so if I give you the log leg to find the short leg, guys. It's not the time you need to be talking. If I have this leg, I divide by the square root of 3, and then I times it by 2. So 26 divided by the square root of 3, did anybody get that approximate answer? No? So 26. I'm glad you guys had this. 26 divided by the square root of 3. 15.1, as we already talked about, which would be double. That answer, right? You didn't even think about it this way. If we had said approximately this is 7.5 and you just doubled it, then you're going to get 15. Okay?